Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to go over the first instalment to our emergency box series, and that is the box. All right guys, so let's start off with what kind of box you should have. Now these boxes here are okay. You can get these from Bunnings for very cheap. They cost you, you know, 12 to $15 for a couple of those. Or you could spend the money and you can get yourself a nice heavy duty box that you can sort of throw around a little bit if need be. Whatever box you buy is probably gonna be a good idea to make them stackable. That way you can minimize the floor space that you use to keep them. So where should you store your box? You should make sure that it's in a cool, dry place. Uh, if it's in direct sunlight, it can ruin the box because these aren't UV stable, I don't think. Some of them might be. You're not gonna have much of an issue with your thicker, heavy duty uh, boxes, but these ones here, they will get brittle if they're uh, exposed to sunlight for a long period of time. The last thing you wanna do is to be grabbing this, picking it up, and then the ass falling out of it and you're losing all your gear. It's also gonna help with preserving the stuff inside it as well. Having it out of the heat, heat does not react well with anything. So things like your first aid kit with creams and saline solutions, even water and food, you don't want those in, uh, festering in a hot box. You wanna keep them nice and cool and it's just gonna prolong the life of it. A sealable box is probably going to be the way to go. But if you can't afford it, don't panic because these ones here are easily sealed with some tape. The reason why you want these things sealed is so that creepy crawlies don't get in there and start eating or pooping through the box and contaminating your goods. All right, let's look at weight. Having a couple of small boxes like this is probably gonna be ideal so that it can have a one man lift. Your partner might be away at work or out somewhere. Something happens and you need to load these into a car and meet at a rendezvous point. You've got to make sure that you're able to lift these on your own. Otherwise they're completely useless. You're going to have to leave them behind. So watching your weight is going to be a big factor. And the last thing you want to do as well is to try and pick one up by yourself and hurt your back or anything like that and, and potentially immobilize yourself which means you've just closed your window for escape. Another really good idea is to label the outside of your box with what is in it. As we go through this series, um, if you are going to take the advice from the, um, from the intro video, uh, I did say that um, this would be a great opportunity to, to do the series as a week long videos so that each genre comes along, you can buy some gear to put in your box and that'll give you a good start. So labeling the box on the outside with what it has, that gives you an opportunity to look at that label without having to sift through it and seeing what you have and potentially doubling up and wasting your money on stuff that you already have. And I know in some cases that two is one, one is none. If you lose something, you've got a backup. But while you're starting out and money could be tight, you don't wanna be spending money on stuff that you already have. So just write a list and put it on the, uh, the front of your box where you can see it at all times. Every time you pass it, you can have a look through it and say, hey, I could upgrade that or I could go and buy something else to put in there. Another really good idea for labels is for your perishables, such as your food, your first aid kit and fire extinguisher. So having that on the outside of your box will, again, walking past it, you, you can see it and you can decide and well, you can see when your stuff is about to expire. I'd say I'd recommend about, let's say four weeks uh, for an expiry date so that you can take it out and put fresh stuff in there. Now I say four weeks is so that you can still use it, you can still eat it um, while it's still good and that way you're also rotating stock 
and you get to try the food that you've put in there. If you've just randomly chosen long life food or something that you've got in there, um, then it gives you a really good opportunity to eat it because there's nothing worse than if you grab your emergency box and you take off and you start digging into the food that you've got and you really don't like it. It's not a great morale booster. So I recommend that the food that goes in there is something that you like. <laughs> I did say about heavy duty boxes. They do come with a little bit more weight but they are far more robust and they're going to keep out um, all the creepy crawlies because they're generally sealed. So there is still nothing wrong with these. I'm gonna be using these ones myself because I just can't afford to go out and buy these heavy duty ones. I'm not too sure how much they are, but I guarantee you they're not as cheap as these ones. But that's all right. Now, when it comes to pricing your gear, it doesn't have to be amazing gear. Don't get caught up with brand names. Only buy what you can afford. It's very important that if you're on a budget, something is better than nothing. Please don't let anyone tell you that having this U-Butte piece of equipment is be all and end all of survival because it's absolutely not true. Something is better than nothing. Later on down the track, when you get a bit more financial, you can upgrade your gear and potentially hand down the old stuff uh, to someone else that may need it. So there you go guys, that's going to be the first video about the box and what kind of boxes you can have. Uh, for the experienced guys, please, please comment and give other suggestions of what kind of boxes that you can use, how to store them and anything else that we've gone through in this video. I want to thank you all for joining me on this journey and I hope to see you guys on Facebook and Instagram as well. Come and check me out, the Man Cave 4301, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.